told you that. I know. Oh my god. Why does Kevin seem like Aren't those pie pumpkins? I'm pretty sure they are. Hey Christian. What are we, what are we doing today? Pumpkins. What? <laughs> But we're, we're doing pumpkins. We're doing the pumpkin, oh, doing the pumpkin things. One. That one's my friend. Oh, he's dying. Oh, you smell just as good as I do, right? <laughs> Yay! Hi! <laughs> ah! Oh, you might have okay. What a big jump. <laughs> Hello, no, my little fuzzy bat butts. Let me turn the camera a little bit. Our last video, I briefly touched on the subject of our wonderful witch pillow behind me, and I had several wonderful commenters let me know that this is actually historically correct for her broom to be facing this way. I haven't had a chance to look up the exact facts or details about this because of time constraints and how busy I've been lately, but I do appreciate you guys coming into the rescue to let me know that it is in fact accurate and that she's not just bubbling around next to the moon. The next thing I have to say is I received this beautiful alchemy bracelet from my wish list, my Amazon wish list. So thank you so much for surprising me with this for my birthday. I am beyond excited to have this a part of my life. It's super pretty and cool. I love that to tighten it, it has this little clasp and it's on a really pretty satin ribbon and you just tighten it like so so it's super cool really pretty little bat um thank you guys whenever you buy me stuff off my amazon wish list you totally don't have to do that and it's really kind of you to do that for me it really just brightened up my day a lot and um i do have those linked in the description bar of my video but like i said um it's super, it's super nice of you to get things from that, but I'm not like expecting to receive things from that. Does that make sense? But um, thank you so much. I love this very, very much. It's very kind of you to do that for me. Next topic is, well, in general, this is gonna be a very autumn themed video, very Halloween themed, and it's also going to be kind of an introduction to a new witch herb and oil shop that I have just recently come across and I feel like you guys need to know about it and you need to be able to partake in it as well because it's very exciting. One more thing before I hop into that though, Halloween color drip candles. Now, whenever I was seven or eight, my eldest brother, James, had a bunch of these color drip candles. And I remember him having them in his room and as a kiddo, watching these candles slowly disperse their colors. And um, very fond memories. So as soon as I saw this in the store, which how cool that they're bringing these back. But as soon as I saw this, I had to purchase it. And that is what is behind me. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Let me turn it over this way maybe. But that is what this is right here. Hello there, 90s. This is the drip candle up close. I chose to use this premium quality Ghost Screams bottle, which I acquired, I believe, from Target two years ago. And down here, it's a little spider web plate that I got quite some time ago as, well, I'd say like three years ago. But see, it's just a regular taper candle, except that there's little balls of color in each part of the candle. And as it melts down, different colors drip. And these were super duper popular in the 90s. My brother, my oldest brother, had a couple of these in his bedroom. So I could not resist but partake in the color drip candle as soon as I saw it. So there it is in all of its glory. Color dripping away. It's kind of cool to have um, a color drip candle for me especially because it's like very full circle. My brother had them and now I'm burning one so woo 
Ooh, 90s, so exciting. The packaging is super cute too, the little pumpkin. It'd be cool to get a plastic pumpkin from Target or from any kind of store where they're relatively inexpensive and to do the color drip on it. So maybe I'll do that in the future. All right, so now <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and hop into this haul that I have for you of a lot of witchy herbs and oils. I'm very, very thrilled. I kind of have, um, I'm having a hard time paying attention today because I have a lot to share with you guys that has happened within the week and my brain isn't able to keep up with how fast I'm processing. One more thing though I have to show you is a new skirt that I got. I hope you can see it. I really love it. It's all like tool and here's the regular part of the skirt and then on top there's tool and I think that it's like super pretty and flowy. I'm really thrilled about it. I also got some boots. Boop. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that too. But they're like floral and uh, velvet and I love them as well. It's been, a, it's been a very good week for me. I've been able to acquire a lot of things. Okay, Woo. I got all that out of my system. Let's go ahead and let's hop into this haul from Thorn and Moon. It's a very, very cool pagan witchy shop that opened on Etsy. I'm going to have all the links down below. If you guys are interested in anything, you'll be able to get it quite easily. Um, they also sent me an info sheet on everything, so I won't <laughs> give you any misinformation, which I would never intend to do, but sometimes whenever I talk about things, I don't quite have the facts nearly as straight as they could be, but I, I try to have them straight, but sometimes they just don't come across that well. So um, Thorn and Moon themselves personally sent me a list and info on the products. So if I can't really figure out how to describe something or if I don't really um, know the full backstory, I can go to this. So say hello to the cutest little bag in the entire existence of mankind. We have a seven day candle and we have some herbs. Now don't let this small bag fool you because there is a lot of wonderful goodness inside here. But we're gonna start off with uh, some other stuff. First, we're gonna start off with this Witch's Black Salt Banishing and Protection Mix. It's an herb mix and a really nice glass jar. These come in handy pretty often. I actually have a lot of herbs that I work with and um, I'm gonna pull up, see if I have more information on this to tell you guys. Basically, like with banishing and protection, which is also, I think that this is either ash or black salt. Yeah, it's black salt, that's the name of it. So the black salt in here helps, um, how would I say this? You know what, I'm gonna refer to the sheet so that it'll be, it'll be uh, more informational than just me like babbling over here. Okay, so. The witch's black salt can be sprinkled around your home or your sacred space and altar prior to a ritual or used to cast your circle. It can also be used in spell work for removing negative energy or hexes, banishing, uncrossing, or protection. Beautiful. And can we take a moment to appreciate how wonderful the packaging is for this product? Not only is it in a really cool glass jar, the packaging is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And it is full. Like it, it's been filled up all the way to the top so you are not getting ripped off. That is a, lo a lot of product for a really good price. So the next thing we're gonna look at, ooh that smells good too, it smells like clove. It's got some clovey smells. The next product we're going to look at is the Thorn and Moon Apothecary seven day candle. I like burning these. The reason that it's called a seven day candle is because it typically takes seven days to burn all the way down if you don't put it out. You're not supposed to put it out, but considering that I have lots of animals in my house, I do snuff it out and relight it whenever I enter into the house. And every time you pass the candle, you focus on your intent and you focus on what you're wanting to have come into um, existence, if you will. So that is the, how I use my seven day candles. This one is for luck, attraction, health, prosperity, and protection. Once again, the packaging on this is freaking beautiful. And we have some little crescent moons on the side. 
And then the herbs on the top of the candle along with some glitter just adds a nice charm to it. Um, this one, since it, it says on here, it's for luck, attraction, health, prosperity, and protection. So what you would do is whenever the candle is burning, you would look at it and you would just focus on your intent while it's burning down. But let's go ahead and see what the official sheet says that it's for just for um, the sake of properly representing this product. All right, the seven day jarred candle has been dressed and charged with energy and the appropriate corresponding herbs and oils for its intention. We have used vervain, lavender, poppy seeds, and other <laughs> propriety oils and herbs, a quartz crystal shard, as well as a touch of copper glitter to attract the benevolent spirits and fairies to assist with the ritual. Just as cosmos means everything found in the universe, such as the cosmos candle intended for many different beneficial purposes, which include luck, attraction, health, prosperity, or protection. How cool is that? I love the packaging for all of Thorn and Moon stuff. This is why like, I had to show you guys Thorn and Moon. They just, ugh, they're so on point with everything. So here is the bag of goodies that we have. And this is really thrilling for me because I love getting new witchy things. And this bag is just chock full of wonderful witchy goodness. So without further ado, let's hop into this bag and see what it contains. The first thing I have on top is the Hecate oil, and it actually got a lot of herbs in there. The packaging, once again, is freaking beautiful. So great. We have a little chain with the tassel right here. Wow, it's so pretty. I want to have a sniff of it. Right meow. Mmm. The first thing I'm noticing is a licorice smell. There's um, licorice and there's also lots of flower um, scents. I will, Hecate, 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 however you would like to say her, I actually have her tattooed on me right here. She is um, known as many things, some of most being like a goddess of witches, but that's my protection tattoo and it's Hecate, and I love it very, very much. But um, here we go. Let's hop into what this oil is about. Hey, Achilles, let's stop yelling, little kitty. I think you're okay. You are. Okay, so this says, guardian of the unconscious, Hecate stands at the crossroads of our subconscious. As she watches us approach, she can both see backward and forward into our lives. As Dark Moon Goddess of the Dead, she not only represents the destructive side of life, but also the necessary forces that make creativity, growth, and healing possible. Our Hecate Ritual Anointing Oil is made from pure essential oils, herbs, bark, and other natural elements that have been used to call forth and in offerings to Hecate. Willow tree bark, bitter almond, mint, anise, cypress, cypress, myrrh, lavender, cardamom, and other witchy potions. Each bottle is also enhanced magically with a moon tone and created on our altar charged under the dark moon for Hecate's blessings. Freaking beautiful bottle. So great. Okay, the next item that we have in here is more herbs to work with at the altar. This one is also for Hecate. And um, I think in the last little description, we basically described some of the uses for that. But let's go ahead and look into the herbs and I can read from this so that it makes um, some, some pretty good sense. So you can use this incense with your intent to bring yourself more connected with Hecate while working with the great goddess of the crossroads. Very, very nice. Super cool. Once again, the packaging. Look how pretty. And there's a lot in there for what you pay. You're definitely not getting gypped. Very, very excited about you. I'll have to show you guys my little witchy cabinet. Maybe do a tour of my witch cabinet. I think you guys might maybe like that. It has a lot of herbs and all kinds of wonderful goodness over there. So these are gonna look familiar and it's because Thorn and Moon is owned 
by or is co-owned by madam josephine which i get a lot of you guys ask me what happened to her company and that you want to get some of her perfumes and such have no fear she is back but in the shape of thorn and moon so i have three beautiful perfumes here i am very thrilled about some new scents that i haven't tried yet this one is called tobacco and amber very exciting here we go let's have a whiff oh my god oh it smells so good <sighs> so this actually i'm getting smells of licorice on this one too but you can definitely smell tobacco it's like an earthy licorice on this one the other one we have here is called hazel let's have a whiff of this one Oh, I really like this one. This one is sweet. This smells like black licorice, candy corn. I'd say black licorice, candy corn, and a flower of some sort. There's like a floral tone in there. I quite like that one. I'll probably wear that one a lot. This one is also called Hecate, and it's got a lot of herbs in there as well. This is the Roller Ball Perfume which is slightly different than the dropper we had. Oh, wow. That's intense. So I'm smelling like a peppery smell, something that's like really uh, more like hot spicy, not like cinnamon spicy, but like a hot spicy. Hmm. So there's like a hot spicy smell and a clove type smell. So let's go ahead. Let's look on here and see what it says is actually in this. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. If I can find it. Okay, so this is an all natural perfume. Body oil is made with resins, herbs, bark, pure essential oils, and other earthly properties of Hecate to bring about her blessings upon you. Some of her elements are myrrh, willow, tree bark, anise, lavender. Wow, there's a lot in here. Bitter almond, cypress, and charged moonstone along with other dark moon findings. How freaking cool. And you can see all the herbs in there as well. Really, really neat. Oh, I love it. The next perfume we're going to smell is called Audra. Oh, wow. This smells very familiar. This has almost, this has a bubble gum smell. It smells like bubble gum. It smells like bubble gum and, so it smells like regular bubble gum with some spices. That's intriguing. I've never smelled a combo like that. So it smells like regular bu bubble gum, but like with cloves and cinnamons and things of that nature. I like it. The next thing I have in my wonderful sack of goodies is an altar cloth for hecate look how beautiful this is and you might notice some symbolism on here that looks familiar <laughs> my tattoo i actually have the two torches and i also have the gate the key to hell the key to the gates of hell which in the center are the keys to hell and then you have the torches basically this is a lot of symbolism that goes with hecate and I'll probably put this altar cloth in my makeup area because I believe where I put on my makeup, it's another little altar of me getting prepped to take on the day. So I think I'm going to make my altar space into a little Hecate area. Very, very thrilling. I love that. It's a beautiful altar cloth. The um, ends of the cloth have this really, really nice, um, what, what word am I looking for? Lace. Has really nice lace on it. I love it. Jeez, that's beautiful. It's a really nice material as well. Um, the next thing we have in here is this bag, which says Thorn and Moon Apothecary. It's a super cute bag. We're going to go ahead and hop in. Look at the little bat sticker right there. That's precious. All right, here we go. Oh. Ah, smoky quartz. Oh my God, I love smoky quartz. Okay, smoky quartz crystal is actually like one of my favorite crystals to work with. This is quite sharp as well. Um, 
Wow, this is a really, really pretty piece of smoky quartz. There's a little bit of um, cloudiness in there, and the more cloudiness that's in a quartz actually gives quartz gender, which is intriguing, I find. The more cloudy that it is, the more masculine that the energy is. So let's look at what they say smoky quartz is for. What I personally use smoky quartz for is getting rid of negativity, or I use it for... Um, keeping negativity away from me, but let's see what it says in here for smoky quartz before I just go spouting off random facts about it. Do 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 do. Smoky quartz was known as the stone of power to the ancient druids. It was sacred and signified the potent potent dark power of earth gods and goddesses. In other cultures, it guided souls to the afterlife, served in the shamastic rituals, shaman shamanistic shamanistic rituals and tribal ceremonies and was utilized in magic and scarring scarring to connect with spirits in lower worlds so um used psychic psychically to connect with spirits in lower worlds smoky quartz phenomenal power then and now lies in its ability to protect and ground one physically and spiritually to this world and to absorb and transmute <laughs> significant amounts of negative energy and release it into the earth to be neutralized naturally. It provides a vital shield against psychic attack, emotional and environmental stress, and is used extensively in healing and meditation. That's actually really relevant to something that I need right now. That's really cool. So it's kind of close. I was very vague in my description, but I was pretty close to what it's for. The next thing that we have in here Here's a cute little container or a sack of things. Oh my gosh, this looks like a giant fluorite. Is this fluorite? It looks like it. Double pointed crystal. Whoa, this is so freaking beautiful. Jeez, it's beautiful. Let's see what this one says. So it is fluorite. It's green fluorite. It's an excellent all-purpose healing stone that promotes healing on all levels. It is directly connected to the heart chakra and can help us understand issues of the heart, both current and of the past. This stone loves to be with plants and other stones. These stones strengthen the value and pot potency of herbs, flowers, and tree essences when used in healing or magic. These wands are perfect for directing energies from nature into whatever, whatever you are creating. Wow, I love this and it's perfect for me right now as well. I'll be keeping this with my herbs. I also feel like um, I carry a lot of herbs and uh, incense with me and I'll probably keep it all together in my bag with this super excited to have it i'm also a virgo so i'm an earth sign and i'm more partial to things that have to do with the earth obviously crystals have to do with the earth they come from the earth but um since this also works with earth i feel like i'm going to have a great coexistence with this crystal that's a lot of really cool stuff um as i was saying here's a nice little card from thorn and moon and i'll have everything linked down below so if you guys saw stuff that you are also equally interested in please check out their etsy site they make all of this by hand and they are two fabulous people that i actually got to meet when i was on tour with my band esoteric i've worked with madame josephine quite a bit in the past and i'm really excited to see this new project that they have taken on together and i know that they're only going to make great things and there's only going to be more beautiful things that come from this union of two magical little witches so um that's that's about it for my video today it was a lot of um haul things but i feel like it was haul things that you can use for a very good purpose so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave me a thumbs up in the comment section let me know what videos you would like to see in the future I will be oh so happy to bring those to you. Let me show you my altar space really quick since I brought it up when we were looking at these herbs. Altar um, space. I work with Scothi or Scotty, however you would like to pronounce her name. Um, whenever I was in Iceland, I actually asked a local how to pronounce her name and they said it was Scothi. So that is how I've been pronouncing it. Here she is being beautiful. She's the goddess that I work with. 
Um, in the background, this is actually a log that I got at the Viking Festival uh, a year ago or so, but um, I got it just out in the woods and it feels nice. So I put it on my altar. Um, I do a lot of shamanic or shaman related drumming and this is my guide, my Filgjör, which is Nordic for an animal guide. Uh, it is the Arctic fox and it is the animal I work with the most. This is my wand. It's selenite with opalite and I use this to center myself before I start doing drumming rituals. These are also selenite taper candle holders on all four corners and that helps protect against uh, negativity. It creates a barrier of sorts of just um, protection really. And this is a selenite sphere that I work with quite often as well. Uh, since I do have animals, whenever I am doing my drumming rituals, usually you would do it in front of a fire pit or something of that nature. However, I do mine in front of a very bright candle. So, I mean, it works for me. And there's this really cool wooden thing I have under it. Oopsies. Okay, so it's got the runes all around it, acorns, and it's just a really nice power charger for whenever I'm working and of course I have my incense and things right here which I have not cleaned off yet so please forgive that but if we pan up just a little bit oopsies oh if I can stand up we pan up just a little bit and these are a lot of the herbs that I work with um, a lot of them are just in their raw form and this is my pestle and mortar mortar I can't ever say that correctly but it has little holly leaves on it which kind of go along with, I work with winter goddess, so it kind of goes along with that. And um, in here is just a lot more herbs that I work with. Some of them are in raw form and some of them are already in incense form. This is something I really love and I got it from New Orleans and I use this whenever I am doing my drumming rituals. It's a really, really nice product from, um, esoterica in New Orleans. If we look inside the drawers, ba, 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 this has a lot of oils, but it also has um, sage. I do use sage pretty often. These are just some small bundles that I have on standby for whenever I need them. This is a lighter. I know that some witches like to only use matches or things that don't come from a lighter, but in my humble opinion, fire is fire and it doesn't matter where it comes from. And that's how I feel about that. <laughs> that could start an argument, but that's just how I feel. So I've got um, a variety of different sage bundles in here for different purposes. These little straws I have, I actually cut in half. So they look kind of like a scoop or a spoon. And I use that to get um, the appropriate amount of herbs out of my jars or incense out of my jars for whatever I'm working with. On this side, I actually don't really, so this side I have more herbs in here, which I haven't dug into yet. I'll probably get jars for them, but it's just a variety of herbs. This is a giant baggie of lavender. That was sent to me by one of my viewers. And then I open up this side and this side has incense, which I am obsessed with this incense, it's super great. And then the rest in here are just tools and things I have on standby for whenever I need them, different oil burners or incense burners, um, candle holders, things of that nature that I might need for ritual. So you guys have seen my altar space. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see in the future. And I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Tschüss. Juicy. If you cut off my head, what would I say? Me and my, me and my head or me and my body? <laughs>